Joining me now is Vyacheslav Yurash, a member of Ukraine's parliament, and you've been visiting some of the embattled cities in your country. Tell us what strikes you as the most urgent right now, the, the, the biggest, the biggest I'm crisis. Just, I'm more than just visiting. The reality there is uh, devastation, uh, street by street. Uh, there's everything is shelled out and bombed out. There's no heat. There's no electricity. There's no water. Uh, people need everything, anything. So it's the reality that these peaceful towns, which never expected anything of this sort, are now a site of devastation unseen since the Second World War. Uh, the reality is that uh, Ukraine now is the battleground, testing ground for the whole of the world's humanity. We've heard reports from other parliamentarians and the president's office today that there was, uh, that the Russians have taken control of a hospital in Mariupol, and that the patients there, and, and I assume the medical staff, are hostage, 400 people. Uh, can you give us any detail or any confirmation of that? Mariupol is hell on earth. The reality is that city of half a million uh, has more than 20,000 casualties at the moment. That is happening because Russians want to take that city in all costs, and they are bombing everything they have. If you want a uh, clearer sign of, of all, kind, all manner of war crimes, you need to go no further. Mariupol now is the testing ground for all the Russian equipment, all the Russian might, and still it holds on. I have a connection with the uh, with the Ukrainian defendants of the town. They are willing to stand there till their very last. And the point is that they are showing the example for all the Ukrainians all around Ukraine that we need to stand up for everything we have till the end. I wanted to ask you about the civilians who, as you point out, are in the line of fire, the deaths in Mariupol, and now the journalists as well. You tweeted about Alexandra, known as Sasha Kuvishnova, I guess is, is her last name. Correct me, please. Who was serving as a consultant or working with Fox News as a producer when she was killed at the age of 24? Tell me about her. Alexandra was the dearest person with whom, for a decade, uh, we went through everything and anything together. And uh, she deserved so much more in her life. She was all ambition, promise, and that desire to tell the story of what is happening in Ukraine to the world. She was helping. Uh, American news channel to tell this story, and she died in the process. The car was hit by a mortar fire, direct hit, and and death of everyone on board instantly. Uh, the correspondent survived because he was filming outside the car. The reality is, Alexandra's death is indicative of loss we all feel right now in Ukraine. Every single person has now somebody who has died, suffered, uh, or is going through this, that, and the other ordeal because of this war. And I wonder how many more Alexandras should happen before the West wakes up to those things that needs to, needs to be done to stop this madness that is inflicted by Mr. Putin. Again, we are living through a moment that should not have happened again, happening again. Um, well, we feel so much for what your country is going through and of course in that horrible that horrible attack also the, the wonderful cameraman and our, our own State Department colleague um, who has survived the attack uh, but is still hospitalized Ben Hall and the bravery and the, the, the terrible losses by all Ukrainians and your friend Sasha are just unbearable thank you very much for being with us today